G'day guys, welcome back to another YouTube video and today we're going to talk about Caracaricles Megalodon that's a prehistoric shark that lived 2.6 million years ago it grew to around about 60 feet in length it ate whales or pretty much anything it came across and lucky for us it went extinct or did it now we're only about 17 days away until the release of the Meg which is a movie based off of this shark which is based off a series of novels from Steve Alton so I thought today we'll have a quick chat about uh, could, it, could the possibility that this shark could uh, still be swimming in the oceans today. Now there's tons, loads of YouTube videos out there stating that this shark exists, sightings, video sightings, but there's no real definite um, uh, proof of this shark really existing. You think uh, in today's um, technology something would have come up um, by now. Now, in the last few weeks, I've actually done uh, talk stories about some of these sightings, large great white shark sightings to uh, megalodon shark sightings and all that um, over the years, which are quite fascinating. And there's a few stories there in the early 40s to 60s of sharks um, estimated to being around about 30 to 50 feet long. So, uh, but it is fascinating. Um, can you actually believe up until 2000 it's estimated that much as 95% of the world's oceans and 99% of the ocean floor are unexplored so that's crazy to actually even to think that um, the, the ocean is you know, there's a lot to find out about this ocean and um, you know maybe those those areas that haven't been explored maybe that uh, these sharks could still exist so but um, some scientists uh, think that uh, a megalodon shark could exist in the Marianas trenches or the deep deepest parts of the ocean but uh, um, where do I sit on do I believe this shark exists or not um, honestly I don't know I'm always going to keep an open mind to it um, like I just mentioned before like there's a lot of the ocean that has not been explored so how do you know that these sharks are not there or maybe some um, close relative to these sharks or a um, you just don't know um, maybe out there in the ocean somewhere there's some isolated island where these sharks are um, I look at the um, the most uh, southern spot of the Pacific Ocean and uh, how isolated that area is there has to be islands uh, unexplored islands out there where there's uh, enough food source for these sharks um, to feed uh, whales and they just stay out there these islands I'm not sure how long it would take to get out to some of these isolated islands but uh, uh, I'm, you know I you can't rule it out um, there's always it's, I'm not sure how often that happens but there's always new species of fish discovered each day um, some species that are thought to have been extinct so um, maybe somewhere out there there could be uh, probably a small pocket of these sharks um, you, you would think by now there'd be enough evidence, um, you know, um, beach whales with uh, big bite marks out of them or, um, you know, something like that. Uh, it's always, I know one thing that's always fascina fascinated me is when I was younger, you don't really hear much of it these days, is, um, well, it still, still happens about um, whales beaching themselves. And I can remember a long time ago, it was always talked about that to what was causing the whales to do this. And a lot of it was and pointed at the military with their submarines with sonar and stuff uh, back then. Um, it, it just made me wonder, was it the whales' instinct that picked up these uh, submarines and um, actually thought they might have been megalodon sharks or something like that? Um, you don't really hear much about, it, about that these days. Obviously, there's still lots of um, uh, beachings and stuff, but what drives the whales to beach themselves is it's to get away from some type of predator or something like that, but that's always kind of fascinated me. But, uh, guys, let me know in the comments section what's your thoughts on the uh, megalodon shark. Do you think this shark could still exist today, swimming around the ocean? Like I said, um, you would think by now there'd be um, some evidence of... A shark that big swimming around someone would have seen it uh, you think of all these stories I've talked about maybe um, 50 stories and one of one of those stories is, is actually true where someone has witnessed a, a very large shark that could have been a megalodon shark but uh, it's still fascinating you know I still believe that somewhere out there an isolated pocket um, somewhere in the world 
Um, in the uh, ocean, there's could be a, um, a megalodon still cruising around, but uh, maybe one day, um, maybe one day we might actually have some uh, video evidence. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comment section what's your thoughts on a megalodon still cruising around. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, uh, share this video, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.